sodium ion batteries as a better bet, potentially replacing up to half of the market for lithium iron phosphate batteries. It was Robin Zeng's bold prediction that confirmed the potential of sodium ions. And of course, with the ambition to find a solution that dominates the electric vehicle market, Elon Musk isn't just watching from the sidelines, he's already steering Tesla toward a bold new frontier, next-gen sodium ion 5.1 batteries. They're made from materials found practically everywhere, and they might just hold the answer to one of the EV industry's biggest challenges, battery failure in freezing temperatures. But can something with this potential really be reliable in the long run? Or is it just another short-term fix wrapped in a shiny headline? Stick around, because in today's video, we're breaking it all down. Welcome to Gara Tech, where we don't just cover the headlines, we decode what's under them. If you're tired of shallow reviews and want real, no-fluff tech analysis, smash that subscribe button and tap the bell. Be one of the first 199 insiders to get the truth before it goes mainstream. Sodium is 500 times more abundant than lithium, with concentrations of 11,000 parts per million in the Earth's crust, compared to lithium's 20 parts per million. It can be extracted from seawater, soda ash, and rock salt, materials already available in large quantities across North America, India, China, and Europe. This abundance translates to easier and faster domestic production without the environmental or geopolitical burden of hard rock, lithium, or cobalt mining. Now consider the politics. Over 70% of the global lithium supply is controlled by just three countries, Australia, Chile, and China. In 2023, China implemented stricter export controls on key battery materials, while now, the U.S. responded with higher tariffs on EV and battery imports. These policy swings have triggered supply chain uncertainty and price volatility. Sodium, by contrast, avoids critical minerals lists in most countries and isn't subject to the same export restrictions or trade tensions. That makes it a geopolitically low-risk material, a supply chain that stays stable without driving up EV prices. What do you think? Can sodium ion really live up to the hype? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We read everyone. Now let's talk about something a lot of people don't realize. Cold weather kills battery performance. Traditional lithium ion batteries lose up to 30 to 40% of their capacity when temperatures drop below freezing. That means shorter driving range, slower charging, and in some cases, your EV might not even start in the morning without preheating the battery. But here's where sodium ion gen 5.1 really shines. In lab tests, these new sodium batteries maintained over 90% of their capacity at negative 20 degrees Celsius. That's negative four degrees Fahrenheit. In other words, while lithium batteries are taking a nap, sodium keeps working like it's a mild spring day. You get more reliable range, even in snowstorms. And there's more. Sodium ion batteries also charge faster in the cold. With lithium, you often have to wait for the battery to warm up before the charging speed kicks in. Sodium cuts down up to 40% that delay. And if you're worried about lifespan, don't be. Sodium Ion Gen 5.1 batteries offer about 2,000 to 3,000 full charge cycles. That translates to 600,000 to 900,000 miles. Plenty for daily drivers, even over 15 plus years. But the real question is, can sodium ion actually drive EV prices down? Could it be the key to making $25,000 Teslas a reality? We're breaking that down in the next video. You won't want to miss it. And if you're into real, no-fluff tech analysis, hit subscribe, tap the bell, and join the first insiders who saw it coming before the headlines did.